Hey guys, as many of you know, I have been using Manjaro KDE on my main machine for the last couple of weeks. I installed Manjaro's KDE edition on my main production machine here at home. And I've been complaining a little bit about uh, KDE. KDE is not my favorite desktop manager. Um, as many of you know, I really love minimal window managers. In particular, many of you know I'm a big fan of the OpenBox window manager. So I've actually had a couple of people tell me that if I like Manjaro and I love the OpenBox window manager, I really need to check out Maybox Linux. And that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to install and review Maybox Linux. It is a uh, basically a community respin of Manjaro, but it is using the OpenBox window manager, the Tent2 panel, uh, you know, it's your standard open box setup on top of Manjaro. So I'm going to install this today inside a virtual machine. So let's get started. All right, so I'm going to install this inside VirtualBox today. So we have our boot menu here. We have the options of start Manjaro Linux, start with the nine free drivers, boot from hard disk, hardware detection tool, and mem test. So I'm going to choose the first option, start Manjaro Linux. Again, made box is based on Manjaro, so we're probably going to see a lot of references to Manjaro, uh, where they didn't, you know, bother to change some of the branding. Although the uh, the splash screen here on, on the boot up, you know, is really nice. This made box Linux logo here, so that's a that's really professional looking. I love that they took the time for that. I'm going to pause the video for a second. It may take a couple of minutes for the live environment to load here. All right and the live desktop environment has finally loaded here this of course is the open box window manager and, and again we have our tent 2 panel at the top we have a, a conky a little system monitor that sits right here on our desktop I will say before you know even bothering installing Maybox Linux uh, just the live environment here this is one of the most attractive uh, open box sessions I've ever seen uh, really just beautiful beautiful setup this uh, transparent tent 2 panel the icons you know the uh, conky here with the colors the green and white colors that match uh, our wallpaper very well matches the logo very well here uh, really slick alright so we need to find the installer here let's see if we have an installer in our quick launcher icons here in the tent 2 panel looks like this one right here install Manjaro Linux this is the Calamares installer so let me go ahead and launch that alright the Calamares installer let me go ahead and run through this English has been selected for our language that's correct it has correctly chosen the central time zone in the US for me that's correct keyboard English US has been chosen for me that's correct I can test it out in the test field here the keyboard is working as expected Partitioning, we have the option of erasing the disk and giving Maybox Linux the entire 15 gig hard drive of this virtual machine I created. Or I can do manual partitioning and set up the partitions myself. I'm just going to choose erase disk and let Maybox uh, do its thing. All right. All right, user and password. So we need to create a username. I'm going to choose Maybox as my username. And I need to give that user a password. Alright, we have the option of logging in automatically without asking for the password. I never tick that on by default. I like to be asked for a password when I log in. We also have the option of using the same password for the administrator account, you know, for the root account. Uh, or we can untick this and create a separate root password. I, I don't mind using the same password for both my home user and the root user, so I'm going to leave that one ticked on. Alright, summary. Uh, we can review the location keyboard and partition scheme here everything looks correct I choose next here and the installer starts I'm gonna pause the video the installer will probably take about five minutes or so to run through yes it's just another Friday night and here I am installing a new Linux distro I've never played with drinking a glass of Pinot Noir I'm such a nerd and the installer is completed that took you know maybe five minutes anyway 
uh, the Calamari's installer, you need to go here to the bottom left corner and tick restart now and then hit quit and this will automatically reboot your machine. Alright, and we have rebooted our freshly installed Maybox Linux. Let's see how long it takes for the boot up time. Alright, boot up time was very fast. We got to our login manager very quickly. This looks like it might be the Light DM login manager here. Go ahead and type in my password. Alright, and we're in our open box session here. Alright, and we have our little greeter here. It says, uh, Welcome to Maybox. This is Maybox 17.02. So this is February 2017, 17.02. Uh, today's date is January 11th, 2018. So this is an old ISO, very old for a rolling release. So I am going to have to update the system. This greeter, actually, one of the things it's going to have me do is rank and choose mirrors. So it's going to have me go through the mirror uh, list and choose you know, some of the closest, the fastest mirrors to me. And then it's going to have me update the system. So I'm going to go ahead and and run through that update. It may take a while, but uh, I really won't be able to do a proper review of this distro in, until I update the, uh, the very old packages that are on this ISO. So let me choose rank and choose mirrors here. Alright, we trust you have received the... okay, this is asking me about uh, my root password, so let me go ahead and give it the root password. And then it's looking like it's gonna go out and uh, check all the mirrors see which ones are the fastest ones for me so this may take a minute I'm gonna pause the video alright and it's returning a list of mirrors uh, obviously we want to use the mirrors closest to us I'm gonna click you know a couple of the ones in the US uh, we have another US right down here oh I clicked uh, oh, about four of them that were in the US are you sure you want to replace your list of mirrors? I'm going to go ahead and tick OK. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and hit the uh, button here to update the system. And again, the terminal is asking us for our root password. Again, to install, remove software to update your system, you always have to give Linux your root password. All right, let's see. Looks like there's only three packages it's going to update at least for this but then after this I'm going to run a, a full system update and that's probably going to be a few hundred packages being that this ISO is about 11 months old alright and now we need to do the full system update and it's uh, a little over 500 packages that need to be updated here so this is going to take quite some time so I'm going to pause the video here okay I finished updating the system uh, that took I don't know 10-15 minutes to uh, run that update needed to update about 577 packages or somewhere around there anyway and then I rebooted the machine and now this is our freshly installed Maybox Linux so uh, first I'm going to go through my normal sort of review I'm going to go through the open box menu and show all of the programs installed by default on Maybox Linux. So, in open box, your menu, of course, is the right click menu here. This is you right click anywhere on the desktop and you get your menu here. Now, Maybox also has a menu launcher here in the Tent 2 panel. Basically, this menu launcher is the same as your right click menu. It is just uh, this launcher is set to execute the right click menu. So it's the exact same menu, clicking that launcher or right clicking on the desktop. All right, so let's go through the menu. All right, at the very top, we have quick launchers for our file manager. Let's see what file manager they're using. They're using PC Man FM. That's awesome. I, I, that's my favorite minimal file manager, uh, PC Man FM. Now, Maybox is inspired by the old Crunchbang Linux distro that's been dead for a number of years now but Crunchbang was a very very popular 
uh, Debian-based distro that used the open box window manager by default. And a lot of these modern day open box uh, distros, they really are uh, inspired by the old Crunchbang uh, Linux distro. Crunchbang used the Thunar file manager by default. So a lot of these newer open box distros also use Thunar by default because it's what Crunchbang used. But I really love that Matebox is going with PC Man FM. All right, we also have our terminal. Let's see what terminal program they're using by default. Let's see if I go to preferences, maybe it'll tell me. Yep, Terminator. Terminator's an excellent terminal. All right, and then we have our run prompt here. Uh, so we could run something, for example, Terminator. Now the font is not working correctly here. So uh, that's interesting there. Uh, whatever font is set in the config, uh, it's probably a font that's not currently on the system is the reason this launcher is not working. It looks like it might be Rofi. It's probably the program they're using for this uh, run command launcher but uh, there's something screwy with the fonts so I'm gonna have to play with that to see if I can get that fixed. Alright continuing on through the menu here under accessories we have clip it which is our clipboard, calculator, our calculator, we have our image viewer, we have the terminator terminal again and we have X archiver. X archiver is the standard archive utility in the XFCE desktop environment. Under development we have Genie Genie is uh, basically a plain text editor. It's also more of a IDE. Uh, great for uh, those of you that do any kind of programming. Also under accessories, uh, well actually under development, we have our icon browser. So that's pretty cool. Under graphics we have image viewer and we have nitrogen which is our wallpaper selection utility. Uh, let's go ahead and check out some of the wallpapers that are installed by default on Maybox while I have this open. Well, looks like we have some pretty cool wallpapers here. Uh, some Manjaro stuff. Looks like they've got several like Manjaro wallpapers. Uh, several uh, high quality like nature photos. A little bit uh, some abstract art. Let's see what this one here is. Uh, some more Manjaro stuff. So. Let me go back to the default wallpaper here. The default wallpaper was really nice. And here's another. Uh, this one is uh, pretty appropriate for this time of year. It's winter here in the U.S. and it's a very cold day here. So uh, you know what? I'm just going to stick with that one for now. All right, running through the menu again. Uh, under multimedia, we have Dead Beef. Dead Beef is a lightweight, minimal audio player. Dead Beef is one of my favorite minimal music players. The problem with Dead Beef though, it is not in a lot of repos out there. You won't find De uh, Dead Beef in the Debian or Ubuntu repos. You will not find Dead Beef in the Arch repos. You will find Dead Beef in the AUR and I'm assuming that's probably how they installed it here on Maybox. But Dead Beef is a fantastic program. I, I wish it was in everybody's repos. We have our MPV media player for our video player. We have pulse audio, volume control, and then we have some uh, Qt uh, utilities here for the Qt toolkit. Under network, we have the Avahi server browser. We have HexChat, which is our IRC chat client here. Also under network, we have Pale Moon. Pale Moon is going to be our web browser. Close that. Under Office, all we have is KPDFU. This is our PDF viewer. Under Settings, we have Add Remove Software. Let's see what that is. All right, this is our uh, basically our GUI package manager here, where we add and remove software. So it looks like by default, everything showing in this main screen is what we have installed right now. We could tick this off to remove software. Uh, we could also go over here to our repositories and uh, add remove repos could go over here on updates and update the system if I wanted to we also have a search field here where I could search for packages to install also under settings we have Adobe Flash Player we have AR and R for our uh, monitor and resolution settings we have customized look and feel 
This will be LX appearance, LX appearance. Uh, it's a standard LXD, LXDE program that sets you know your GTK theme and icon theme and whatnot. LX appearance though works great for minimal window managers such as Openbox, Fluxbox, tiling window managers such as Xmonad, i3. Uh, the default theme is Maybox Super Disk. Uh, pretty cool uh, theme actually. Let me open up the file manager. You know, pretty nice looking theme. Uh, the default icon theme that they're using is Vertex Maya. Uh, really nice green icon set. If I wanted to play around with some of the uh, the themes here, instead of the Maybox Super Desk theme, I could do Maybox Quake World. Let's see what that is. Uh, yeah, that is not a very attractive looking theme. We have the New Mix theme. New Mix is really nice. New Mix Arch Blue. That's pretty cool. We have the Bunsen Blackish theme. I really love dark themes, so I would probably go with that, actually. Now, I do notice that when I hit the Apply button, when I change a the theme and hit Apply, you know, nothing changes here in the PC Man FM File Manager I have open. So I'm not sure if it's actually taking these changes. I mean, I hit apply, and it looked like LX appearance, you know, was setting everything, but it doesn't look like the theme is changing. You know, this is still the default Maybox Super Disk theme, so I'm not sure why that doesn't change. But anyway, let me continue through the settings here. We have our firewall configuration, keyboard and mouse, Maybox Linux Control Center. Let's see what we have in the control center. The control center just has links to again the customized look and feel program LX appearance. Also has links to the nitrogen wallpaper utility to our tent 2 settings. Tent 2 of course is the panel at the top of the screen. Our open box configuration manager. This would be where we configure the open box uh, window manager theme which is the frame around the windows. We have our notifications and then the, we have a program called Maybox Styler. Let's see what that's about. Now, when you open up the Maybox Styler, you get a very similar program to the Control Center. Uh, again, we have customized look and feel, nitrogen. Now we have Cute 5 settings, Light DM Greeter settings, Open Box Configuration Manager again. Uh, we have some Tent 2 stuff, Conky, uh, Menu Editors, Compositor settings, and Theme Manager. See if we open up the theme manager. Well, let's see if this will actually change the theme. Let's see if okay. Now that changed something there. Okay. All right. So this changes the theme here. This blob config uh, manager. It has some pre-configured themes. This changes uh, GTK theme, open box theme, icon theme, and it also changes the wallpaper and the conky that's running. So that is pretty cool. The first one I chose was the Crunchbang theme. Let me go ahead and open up a file manager. Make sure that changed the theme. It changed the open box theme, but the GTK theme uh, doesn't look like it really changed. Let me change to Maybox Bunsen Blackish. Okay, that really didn't change anything about well, Maybox Quake World. Hit OK. Yeah, change the wallpaper, change the conky, change the tint 2 panel. Now the tint 2 panel is at the bottom and it's different colors. And let me go back to Maybox Super Desk here and hit OK. Then okay, we're back to the default settings here. Anyway, that's that's really cool. I, I really like how they have that set up. Uh, I mean, that is a complete package. So you have, you know, it changes your, you know, window themes, icon set, wallpaper, conky config. So that is really really cool. Uh, that's that's one of the the slickest uh, configuration setups I've seen. Uh, so really nice stuff there from Maybox Linux. Continuing through the open box uh, menu here uh, under settings, we also have our Manjaro notifier settings, Manjaro settings manager. Uh, let's see, this should be just your standard settings manager. Yeah, 
uh, for locale settings, language packages, kernel, user accounts, time and date, keyboard settings, and hardware configuration. All right. Also under the settings menu, we have monitor settings, network connections. Uh, again, the open box configuration manager, pointing devices, preferred apps, Qt5 settings, software update, and Tent2 settings. Under the system menu, we have add remove software again. Uh, we have HTOP. HTOP, of course, is our system monitor. HTOP is a pretty cool system monitor. It runs in the terminal. Now I clicked on HTOP and it did not launch. So let me click that again. Hmm. So something is going on there. Let me open up a terminal. Let me make sure HTOP is actually installed. Let me type HTOP in the terminal. Yeah, HTOP is installed. I wonder why it is not launching from this link here. This link is probably broken. There's probably uh, some kind of error, maybe a misspelling or something. I'll have to check the config the uh, config file later and, and see what's going on with that. But HTOP is definitely installed on the system. Uh, also under system, again, we have software update again, Terminator, our terminal, Tent2, which is the panel. This will launch the panel if it wasn't already running. All right, then we have a places submenu here. This is a open box pipe menu, I, I think. Uh, we have basically uh, our uh, bookmarks for the file manager. Um, this is basically places inside our directory structure. If I click on desktop, this is going to open up uh, the PC Man FM file manager inside the desktop directory. If I go back to places and go to documents and click open here, this will open up the documents folder. All right, under recent files, recent files is another open box pipe menu. I actually haven't viewed any documents at all on Maybox Linux yet, but had, have I been using Maybox Linux for a little while? This menu would be populated with my most recently viewed documents. We have our screenshot utility. We have links to the Maybox Control Center again, the Maybox Styler again. Uh, we have a software subcategory here where we can update the system, rank the mirrors, uh, renew keys. We have our preferences subcategory here where we can change look and feel, wallpaper, conky, tint to yada yada yada, a lot of the same stuff we've already seen. And then we also have a help subcategory, uh, takes us to the Maybox Linux home webpage and it also links to their user guide. Also have links to Arch and Manjaro wikis, Openbox, uh, their website and their wiki, uh, tint to documentation and conky documentation. So a lot of good uh, help pages here so uh, that's really nice and then we have our lock screen here let me click that okay and it just takes us to a solid color background if I hit enter okay what okay how do I get out of the lock screen okay I type my password and it let me out and then we have our exit here, this is the uh, basically our session menu. This would be where we would uh, log out, shut down, reboot, all that. All right, the uh, conky that is sitting on the desktop, um, they've already got a lot of hotkeys, a lot of uh, key bindings set up for us out of the box, and it actually tells us what those key bindings are. So the super key, the mod key, the Windows key on your keyboard. Super plus F on the keyboard opens up their file manager, PC Man FM. It looks like Super Space Bar opens the uh, menu. So this is our right click open box menu, Super Space Bar. So you can always open your menu, you know, even if there's no place on the desktop for you to click. For example, if you had a full screen program up, say your web browser, you can't actually click on the desktop anywhere because there's no desktop to get that right click menu to come up. So having the menu keyed to a hotkey, space, or excuse me, super plus space bar makes a lot of sense. Uh, other things, super W opens the web browser, super T opens your terminal, and yada, 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 quite a few programs hotkeyed. And then they have uh, some window controls hotkeyed, such as Alt F4 closes a window, Alt F5 minimizes a window. Uh, 
Super plus D shows your desktop. Super plus B toggles the border around the windows. And then we have some window placement hotkeys. For example, it looks like Super plus Alt plus the arrows does a half screen. Okay, so Super, Alt, and then the right arrow puts PC Man FM on the right half of the screen. Super Alt and the left arrow, I'm assuming, will move it to the left half. Super Alt up moves it to the top half. Super Alt down moves it to the bottom half. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. And then they have similar things for a quarter screen and a one-ninth screen. So, you know, a three-by-three three grid. The tent two panel at the top of the screen, I, I love the look and feel of it. Uh, this translucent, you know, glassy background looks beautiful. Uh, we have our sys tray over here. We also have our desktops. We have four virtual desktops here. This is the second desktop. This is the third desktop. Let me click back on the first desktop. The one is not showing here. I'm assuming the one is probably a dark color. Uh, the font so maybe that's why it's not showing I'm, I'm really not sure why the one is missing here and then we have our clock over here um, then we have quick launchers on the left including the menu quick launcher and then we have quick launchers for show desktop terminal file manager hex chat web browser uh, and then the Maybox Linux control center oh here is the one let me see. If I click 2 to go to the second desktop again, and then I click over here on 1, does that get me back to the first desktop? It does. That's weird that the 1 is kind of out of place. It's way over here instead of over here with the rest of our uh, virtual desktops. Kind of strange. So what are my thoughts on Maybox Linux? Love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, as many of you guys know, uh, I'm really loving my time in Manjaro. I love the Manjaro distro. I I've only uh, recently become familiar with Manjaro. I installed it for the first time in a, a virtual machine about three months ago, Manjaro KDE. And I kept that virtual machine up and running for about three months and then recently installed Manjaro KDE on physical hardware on my main production machine. And I really love the Manjaro distro. I'm not in love with the KDE desktop environment. That's really not my kind of thing. I really like minimal uh, desktop environments and minimal window managers. In particular, I love OpenBox. So I'm really excited to try Maybox Linux because I like Manjaro and I like OpenBox. I may end up installing this on physical hardware somewhere down the road. Uh, maybe. We'll see. Uh, I've installed and reviewed several OpenBox distros on this channel in the three months or so that it's been up and running. I've reviewed uh, Bunsen Labs, which Maybox Linux draws a lot of inspiration from Bunsen Labs. Bunsen Labs is based on Debian Stable and it uses the OpenBox Window Manager. I also reviewed CrunchBang++, which is also another Debian Stable distro. Uh, uses the OpenBox Window Manager and the Tint2 panel. Very similar setup. I've reviewed Arch Labs. I've reviewed Arch Merge. I've, re I've reviewed a few. Salient OS was another one I loved. That one was based on Debian as well, Debian Stable. But for a rolling release open box distro, an open box distro based on Arch Linux, this is probably the best one I've seen. I mean, I loved Arch Labs, don't get me wrong. I loved Arch Merge, but out of the box, Maybox is one of the most gorgeous open box sessions I've seen. Everything about it, I mean, from that very first like boot screen and the splash screen, the installer, the live desktop environment, everything about it has a just quality and a professional look and feel to it. Uh, I love the collection of programs installed by default. It's got a full suite of software. Uh, you can get work done in it. So all in all, I give Maybox Linux A+. Guys, check this one out. Peace.